Hello everyone. Welcome to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. I'm here to solve a Sudoku variant created by Dr. Sudoku. It's an exquisite Sudoku. It has uh, an N number of variants covered in it. And you can see that the grid is littered with lines and it's really rated very well on the Logic Masters Germany portal. I saw this Sudoku getting recommended on the uh, CTC Discord server and I decided to make a video on the Sudoku. Uh, it is titled Apophenia and it is created by Dr. Sudoku. So uh, I hope you enjoy this video. The link to solve this is in the description of the video. I have tried this Sudoku already so uh, I really enjoyed this amazing Sudoku. So uh, let's go into the rules now. I've just you know uh, made the rules a little bit concise. Uh, just giving by by giving subtitles so there are five different variants in the sudoku so of course classic rules apply so each row each column and three by three box in the grid has digits one to nine without any repetitions and then arrow rules apply so the digit in a circle is the sum of the digits along the arrow line the next is what do we have next you have entropy so all these speech lines that you see are entropy lines. So which means that any three consecutive cells, it can be these three or it can be these three or it can be these three. Any three consecutive cells on the line will have, uh, you can say one low digit, which is one, two, three, one middle digit, which is four, five, six and one high digit, which is seven, eight, nine. And then next you have a Navner rule. All these golden lines that you see on the grid or Nabner lines so you, you it is just you know they have reversed the term Renbun into Nabner. A Renbun contains a set of consecutive digits and Nabner line does not contain consecutive digits and also digits cannot repeat. So for example if you have two here suppose let's say by Sudoku you get a two here then you can't have one and three anywhere on the line. Right. Similarly, let's say you get a 4 here, then you can't have 3 and 5 anywhere on the line. No two digits on the uh, Napner line can be consecutive. That's what the rules say. And then you have the Renbun line. Of course, digits form a set of consecutive digits um, without repetition. And then you have a region sum line. The blue lines are region sum lines. So the sum of the uh, digits uh, is the same within each box. So if you consider this line, it has two components one inside this box and one inside this box and uh, the sum of the digits of both the components must be the same in uh, for each random line then of course the famous uh, german whisper rule you know uh, adjacent digits along the green german whisper line must always differ by at least five so that's a lot of rules to remember but if you're a regular these are all uh, you know you can say bread and butter all these variants are really repeated many many times of at least uh, many of the variants are repeated for example arrow renbun region sum german whisper are all uh, really common variants so having said that uh, the link to solve this sudoku is in the description of the video if you enjoy our uh, videos please do hit the subscribe button and i'm going to start the sudoku now okay so there is a solo given in the grid you know that whenever there is a 4 on a whisper line, the adjacent digit is always a 9 in order to have a difference of 5. And that gives us, you know, the sequence of digits. So if this is 9, this can only be 1, 2 or a 3 to have difference of 5. And this will always be uh, 6, 7, 8, 9 is ruled out. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. And how did I write these sequence of digits? Because in a German whisper line, in any Sudoku, uh, adjacent cells will always be from one of the two groups, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 6, 7, 8, 9. And that's how you can establish a difference of at least 5 on a German whisper line. And the moment I had a digit from one of the groups here, I quickly spread it out on the uh, other parts of the line. Of course, 5 can never be on a whisper line. Right, so now uh, looking a bit into deep here, you can eliminate 6 because that would force 1 in here in both of the cells. And 4 is eliminated here, not possible. So 6 here gives both of these cells as 1, which is fine. Okay, so that's as much as I can do over there. 
uh, and look at these uh, Navner lines there are exactly five cells in them now if you think a bit there is no way on earth you can form a set of five uh, non-consecutive non-repeating digits on a Navner line without writing one three five seven and nine these five distinct digits must always be on a five cell long Navner line there is no way you can form if you have any of six or eight or any of even digits you're always going to get a problem fitting five digits in this Navner line so it's just a food for thought you can straight away write this so this these will be five digits from one three five seven and nine okay so let's continue now no nine here by sudoku okay so what did i do next now let's come a little bit to the speech lines we know that they are entropic lines so suppose let's say this is from one two three uh, let's use a different color this will be let's say from seven eight nine or four five six so it's from different color let's call this blue so now i said any three successive cells will always be from one of a low middle and high group right so you have three cells here now look at these three cells you have two of one color uh, two colors so the uh, the third must be red color now look at these three cells so you have blue and red so this must be in yellow okay some basic stuff there nine is not here by sudoku look at this uh, arrow right here it is interestingly uh, structured there so you cannot have a six or a seven and how do i come to six or seven because the minimum sum is at least six one two and three but you can't have six and seven because if you do six forces a one two three here and a one two three here and now you have four cells and just three digits and same applies for seven one two four one two four so the only possibilities are eight and a nine so let's think a bit here now um okay so the nines in these cells i mean in this box box two can only be in these three cells that's something interesting okay it's all about thinking where does the seven eight and nine go in this box and you can get a lot of information here and at a later stage suitable stage you can also think where the six goes in this box so seven cannot be in any of these cells right because that will break the sudoku so which means seven has four options right okay so one more small thing that you can see if this is a six so you get both of these cells forced as a one right immediately because of the whisper part now this is not forced to be eight eight is ruled out because eight requires one in both of these cells so you have a total of uh, one box here two boxes here and three boxes here now if eight requires two ones so we need to use at least two boxes but you have already taken two ones in boxes one and box uh, five so now eight cannot take two more ones so this is forced to be a nine and now there is no space left for eight in this box a kind of you know a lengthy deduction to see but a really interesting one so uh, six is eliminated here so that becomes a seven or eight because six forces two ones and that forces eight out of the box forcing a nine and we don't have space for eight inside the box anymore so basically eight is in only one of these two cells that's what you have to look at
So, uh, okay. Now uh, comes a really interesting question again. Now that we have eliminated six from row three, column four, it's time to ask, where does the six go in box two? So you'll get the answer that it is forced in one of these four cells. The moment I get that, eight is eliminated here. Beautiful set of deductions, right? So this is a nine now. So nine is not here. And in this Nabner line, nine is forced here. And now by Sudoku, nine is forced here. And by Sudoku 9 is not here. So we get a lot of deductions. So one of these lines are going to be uh, 1, 2, and 6. We don't know which one yet, but at least one of them is 1, 2, and 6. It's just too ugly. I'm not going to make that mark. Okay, so where does the 8 go in this box now? Only one cell left. 8 is going here. And uh, I can't have 7 in these cells. So 7 goes in box 2 in these cells. So as I said, it's always important to ask where does the 7, 8 and 9 go. So 7 is not here. Excellent. Uh, 8 and 9 are ruled out. So that's a 7. And the moment you do that, the whisper gets forced. 7 will always have 1 and 2 as pairs to get a difference of at least 5. 7 is not here anymore by Sudoku. 7 is here, which means 7 is here. Okay. So I know that 6 is going to pair with 1 and 2. You also have a 4 here, which means 4 will be in one of these 4 cells. So when you have a 4, it can either be 2, 3. or oh, it has to be 2, 3, right? When you have a 4 in a 3 cell uh, line which adds to 9, the other cells will invariably 2, 3. So one side will be 1, 2, 6, the other side will be 2, 3, 4. Right? Yes. So how do I make a marking to denote that? One side is 1, 2, 6, the other side is 2, 3, 4. Ah, yes. You can get a reduction if you uh, think a little bit deep. So now that we have established the pairs, it's important to ask, can this be a 1, 2, 6, this part of the line? You do, 6 is forced here, this becomes 1, 2, and because of the 2 being here, 2 is forced here, and this becomes 3, 4. Now you get an instant contradiction. In these cells, you have eliminated both the 1 and the 3. So, but this Nabner line needs to take 1 and 3 also. So, if you eliminate both 1 and 3 here, then both will be forced here and we don't have a solution. So, which means I can't have 1, 2, 6 in here. So, 1, 2, 6 goes here and this becomes a 2, 3, 4. That's the only way by which you can place these pairs of possibilities. So, 2 is here. So, that's a 3, 4, which means 2 is forced here and 2 is eliminated here. 2 goes here, so this is not a 2, 1 and 3, so uh, nice, so 1 is in here, so that's not a 1, excellent. So I have 1 in here, I have 1 in here, which means I force a 1 in here. And 6 is in these two cells, so 6 is forced here. Okay, a really uh, nice deduction. If you have a 5 here, then 5 is nowhere in this box, right? Or a different way to look at it is uh, 5 in box 2 must be in these 3 cells. So 5 is eliminated here. So this is a 1-3 pair. Ah, you have a 1 here, so that eliminates 1 from these cells and they become 3, 5, 7, which means this will be a 2, 4 pair and that becomes a 3 now. Excellent. And 4 now in this box is in one of these cells. Okay, and you have 3 here, you have 3 here, so that's not a 3. That's 1, 5, 7 and 9. And you have 5, 7, 8 here. Excellent, we have made some uh, great progress in the Sudoku.
Okay, now comes a really interesting deduction. So now that we have got this pair here, this German whisper part here becomes suddenly interesting. Why? Because we have eliminated all the digits from one group, namely almost all. 1, 2, 3 and 4 form a group, right? So one of these cells will take a digits from the group 1, 2, 3, 4. So you have eliminated all 1, 2, 3. So the only left out digit is 4. 4 must be in one of these cells and it must pair with a 9. There is no other possibility for a 4 on a whisper line. And that eliminates 9 from these cells. That means 9 is in exactly one of these two cells. So 9 is here, 9 is here, so 9 goes here. Uh, 9 is not here by Sudoku, so 9 is in one of these two cells. Okay, and one more really interesting uh, deduction that you can use. Look at this uh, entropy line, this orange peach line here. It takes one low digit, 1, 2, 3, which can't be here because all of 1, 2, 3 are eliminated. It can't be here because of all of 1, 2, 3 are eliminated. So it has to be here. So this will be a 1, 2 or a 3. And now look at this cell again. This cannot be high digit either. So the high digit goes here and this will be a 4, 5, 6. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 7, 9 and 4. So these two cells are 5, 6 and 8. And 4 here deciphers this pair, which could have been done right at the start. <clears throat> and 2 is in one of these cells, so that puts 2 in here. Okay, so what do I do next? So I think it's time to look at this part of the grid. Ah. A nice deduction again. So look at these two cells. They would have a high digit, right? But we have two possibilities now. Both 6 and 9 are possible because 7 and 8 are ruled out. But if you have 6 as a high digit here, it instantly becomes a 1-6 pair. And that will rule out this cell from having any digit. So which means that the high digit would have to be a 9 in here. And that rules out 9 from here. So 9 is in one of these cells. Excellent. And now that you have 9 here and you have a 9 here, this is not a 9 anymore. And that becomes a 9. And using Sudoku, 9 is in one of these three cells. So 9 gets forced here. Very nice. Uh, really uh, excellent deductions all across the grid. Okay, this or uh, golden Nabner line will take a 1 here. And that removes one from this cell. So one is in one of these two cells. Okay. And four uh, in column six has to be in one of these two cells. And it's instantly eliminated from the whisper line because nine is not possible. So this is a four. And now we know, uh, kind of know the order. Every fourth cell on entropy line will be from the same group, right? So one, two, three. So this will be from the same group. It's easy to see because you can see this peach line for the reference. Every fourth cell is going to take the same color uh, along the line. So similarly, this cell, so one, two, three, four, it's repeating. So which means this will be from the middle group, four, five, and six. Uh, you have a 9 here, so that is a 7 or an 8, cannot be a 9. Okay, 3 in column 6 must be in one of these two cells. And as of now, it can also be here because you could easily force an 8 here. So you can see here that there is a solo blue here. Ah, that's nice. So in every box, 
you will have three reds, three yellows, and three blues, right? Because three low digits, three middle digits, and three high digits. Now I have got two of a kind here. That is two in number, and you also have one blue. So you will, from these three cells, you will have at max one blue. I mean, not at max, it's exactly one blue because any three will contain one low, one high and one uh, middle. So that means all the reds will be exhausted, all the yellows will be exhausted and there will exactly be one blue. So which means this has to be a blue. So both of these from, will be from the same group is what I was looking to say. Okay, so let's make some progress here. These would be 5, 6, 7, 8, no 7 here. Just a bit of Sudoku. Okay, so at this point, how do we make progress is the interesting question. Ah, you have a 357 pair here. I could have deciphered this also. This was a sitting duck. So 1, 3, and that removes 3 from here. Now 1 uh, is forced into these two cells in uh, these three cells in column 4. Okay, can I do anything more here? Just that 3 is in one of these cells. Okay. So look at this uh, blue uh, region sum line. Now you can't have a 1, 2 pair here. Because that means this sums up to 3 and this will force to be a 3. That is not possible. So at least 1 of 1 and 2 must be here. So this is a 1 or a 2. That's nice. So this is a low digit. Uh, I wouldn't say low digit. It, this is from the group 1, 2, 3, 4. So this will also be from the group 1, 2, 3, 4 because digits alternate. So let's write that in. But 4 is ruled out and 1 and 2 are ruled out. So that has to be a 3. This is a 5, 7. And now this will be high digit and forced to be 8. Excellent. And 8 is going in this domino. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9. So this will be 5, 6 and 7. Right, so I will have three in uh, one, uh, these three cells. Very nice. Now let, let's look at this uh, line again a bit. Mm, or maybe we can come back to it at a later stage. Okay, but look at this purple Renban line. It has suddenly got some push because of the deductions we got here. You can't have three in the purple Renban line. And it is at least a four cell long Renban line. Uh, why am I saying at least every time? It's a four cell long Renban line. So which means it can be four, five, six, and seven, five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, and nine. But in all these cases, six and seven are going to be inside the Renban. So that's not a seven. Huh. So I said three possibilities, right? You can eliminate one of those possibilities. It cannot be six, seven, eight, and nine. Because if you have a six, seven, eight, and nine, eight is forced here. This is instantly turned out to be six, seven, nine. Now you can't have a high digit in these three cells because you have seven, nine here and eight here. So you can instantly rule out one of the possibilities. So it's four, five, six, seven, or five, six, seven, and eight which means 5 is also inside and 9 in this box now is restricted has to be in one of these cells so why don't we write the possibilities here it's 4 5 6 7 or 5 6 7 8 8 is not possible here so this is where I took a little bit of time you can say five to six minutes because it had a really interesting sudoku based deduction so uh, let's look at that now but before that i'm going to write these possibilities in here now you look at this column guys amazing sudoku 
of all the variants you had here one would have very least uh, not expected to find a pentaple in the grid so along column one it was very tough find for me i was stuck a bit and then i found this pentaple beautifully hidden here there is a four five six seven eight pentaple which means this is not a four and rest of the cells will be one two three and nine a one two three nine nine is not here okay and four is not here by sudoku and nine here nine here eliminates nine from here so this is a nine now and now you know blue is a high digit so this will be a high digit cannot be one three five it can only be seven eight nine so it's a seven it's a five that's a seven eight and that's a five six pair now so that's a six and seven right so these will be one three pair the end bun is deciphered very nice and you must have one of the blues here so th one of these cells will be an eight ah. one of these would be eight and eight is not here oh that's nice so now we know that this is four five six and seven and where does the eight go eight is here so eight is in one of these two cells so if I have 8 here, this is forced as a 9. Can I have that? Yeah, there's nothing to prevent that. Mm. Okay, so 7 in row 9 is in one of these three cells. So 7 is not here. This is 5 or a 6. So you always need to take a bit of a pause uh, while solving these Sudokus because often becomes difficult. Suddenly you have a deduction in one end of the grid and suddenly you have a deduction in another end. But an excellent Sudoku, definitely. It's very difficult to create such, such a Sudoku which makes use of each and every uh, variant and each and every part of the grid in a very excellent way. And that makes this uh, kind of a narrow Sudoku, you can say. So let's look at this part. Okay. So I know that one of one and two must be inside, right? So it can be one, six, because you have three, four, eight, five, and nine. Uh, left two digits are one, two, six, and seven. So one, six, one, seven. So one, six means let's write the possibilities here. Uh, it could be seven. If it's one, six, one, seven, it's eight. Two, six, it's again eight. And two, seven, it's nine. These are the only possibilities that can get into the cell. But 7 and 9 are eliminated. So that's an 8 now. Which means these add up to a 7. A 1, 7 or a 2, 6. So this will also be a 1, 7 or a 2, 6. Because you don't have 3, 5. Okay, 6 is eliminated. So which means 2 is eliminated. right so this cell right here can only be a one two or a three because four five six seven eight and nine so it's one two and three so which means this guy here can never be nine because maximum sum possible is only a five that's a nine that's a nine one two and three and which means this can either be three four or five right based on the possibilities here it's three four or five 5 is ruled out, it's 3 or a 4, and which means 1 is surely there, and this is not 1, this is not 1, alright, 5 is not here, that's a 4 or a 6, so we're getting very good progress here, ah, 8 is here, so that's not 8, We're almost on the cusp of finishing of this Sudoku. Uh, just a moment. Maybe let's write some possibilities here. So it's 7, 1. 
oh, oh seven one is ruled out guys can't have one seven here so this is a two six because of the region sum rule which means this is instantly forced as seven and one and now i have seven here so that is a seven which means this is a three five pair which deciphers of this five and six beautiful so eight here okay Ah, 2 is in here and 2 is in here. So which means 2 is forced into these two cells. Okay. Ah, so this cell, look at this. This is a peach line. And now you have a middle digit here. So this cell cannot be a low digit because you have 1, 3 here and 2 here. So this cannot be a low digit. So it can only be high digit and we have only one digit left out from high. It cannot be 7 or 9. It has to be 8. So which means this will be a 1, 2, and 3 from the low group. 2 is ruled out. So this is 1 or a 3. And every 4 cell will be the same, uh, you know, from the group. So if this is high, so this will be high. So 7, 8, 9. And 9 is not possible. 7, 8. 7, 8 pair. So 7 is ruled out, which means 1 is ruled out. Awesome. Okay, so I have a 5, 6, 7 triplet now in column 3. So this makes this a 4. And this is 5, 6 and 7. So you can see the Sudoku is very carefully constructed. It's not giving a digits just like that in a flow. Like you have to really work around to get all the digits. Now looking at row 6, this will be a 2 or a 4. Let me quickly take a look at the time. Okay, 30 minutes. Fair enough. 5, 6, 9, 7, and 8. Okay, so this is 2 or 4. Uh, what can I do now? Okay, 7 is in here. So 7 goes here on the red one. So that's a 5, 6. And 7 here gives me 8 here, which forces 8 here. And these become a 4, 5, 6 now without the 4 here. And 8 is removed from these two cells. So again, 5, 6, 7 triplet here. 8 and 9. So this is 1, 2, 3. So 4 in this box has only one option now. So that's a 4. And that becomes a 1, 3 pair, giving a 2. This is a 1, 3. And that deciphers of this. So this is 2. This is 6. That is 5. That is 6. That is 5. So that's a 6, 7 pair. And this is 1 and 3. 1, 3, 7, 8, 9. So you can finish off this pair. 2 and 5. So this will be 4 and 6 to complete. So you can see this is from the middle group. So this will also be from the middle group, which is 4, 5, 6, 5, 2. Excellent, guys. What a Sudoku, really. Amazing. So let's look along this column uh, to see. Okay, you have a 4. So that's a 2. And that's a 1. Now this is finished. 7, 6, 1 gives a 3, 2, 3, 1. This is 2, 1, 1, 6, and 1, 3 can be deciphered, 3, 1. So we are reaping the rewards now. So this will be 7, 8, right? So that is also deciphered. That's 8. This is a 5, 6, giving us 7 here. And now 8 in column is forced along this cell. There was a 1 here, right? 7 is eliminated because of this cell. So 8 is in one of these three cells. The sum, if you have 7 plus 5, this becomes 12. And then you will have 8, 1, 3 to get to 12. But that will rule out 1, 3 from here. So if this is forced to be a 6. That's a 5. That's a 6. That's a 4. 7 plus 6 is 13. So you need 8 plus 5 to get to 13, which cannot be 2 plus 3. So it is 8, 1, 4. So 1, 4, 8. But we know 1 is in these three cells. So 1 is here. That's a 4, 8. All right. 
very nice so one decipher of this one three four gives four nine nine goes here so this is a uh, from the group one two three four so this is two or a three one three four nine two seven eight so that is five and six and that is a seven which means for the Renban line this will be a whisper line this will be two this would be three and three gives three five this is six five this is four eight and these can be finished off in a jiffy and with that we have completed this extremely gorgeous creation by dr sudoku called apophenia apophenia so uh, what an amazing use of all the variants there are five different variants if i'm not wrong arrow renbun navner entropy and whisper and in order to use this in a meaningful and coherent way to give a solution is really excellent by the author hats off to the author so hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you soon bye bye